Fanta Manegos TV Abus Z En este video tengo una camiseta argentina. Español. Excuse me, Pac. Did you hear the rumor that Acardi's sleeping with Brozovic's wife? Maybe it's wrong. It's Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> This is just the sort of human that you are when it's midnight on a Friday and uh, Fanta cards just came out. What's happening, boys, and happy Saturday morning. By the time you're watching this video, Arsenal and Spurs would have ended. We've got the London Derby there. Uh, interesting little tidbit. Uh, obviously, we had a little bit of Pochettino there just now. Spurs are the only team in England that, that, that haven't drawn. They've gone 28 matches in the Premier League without drawing. That just sounds crazy to me. 20 wins and what is it? 20 wins and 8 losses and no draws. In before... It's a 1-1 draw versus Arsenal this morning. Hopefully your Saturday is getting off to a smashing start. And last night, by the time you're watching this video, EA would have released some Fanta cards. I believe it was five. It was Suarez 94. Two million coins. I think that's a little bit too expensive for me. The reason I want to focus on this 85 Schmeagle, a.k.a. Fanta Di Maria, is not only does he have some good upgrades over his, uh, over his 88 UCL card, which I absolutely loved. As a matter of fact, Alexa, rewind to a couple... I love it! Alexa, help me learn how to talk. Alexa, rewind to four days ago when we did a video. I forget which one it was, but it starred Di Maria and you looked like an absolute lad. UCL Di Maria! That's what he's got! You guys would have seen him as a winger in that epi, and his agility, which is one of his strong suits of his cards normally, was out of control and played incredible. So, when I saw this 89 Fanta card, the fact that he goes for under, under 170,000 coins made me think, you know what, let's do an epi on him, let's show you guys, and maybe if you guys have also used him, let me know in the comments how he has fared for you, but an 89 Fanta Di Maria goes for under 180,000 coins. Another bonus about this card coming out is it now brings his UCL 88 down to under 75k on Xbox. It was, I believe, 90 uh, before this card came out, so uh, that card depreciated a little bit, and that is a winger card, but the cool thing about this one is he ships as a center forward, which is, alongside left wing and right wing, the highest rating that you can get Di Maria in at game. Interestingly enough, uh, up at striker, he's only 84 rated. Makes sense because he's only got 80 finishing but we've gone ahead and slapped a sniper chemistry style which brings him up to plus 15. Now the real question you guys are wondering yourself is way why do we need to do this card? Well I'm gonna sacrifice my finger appendages to bring you guys that very answer and why should you do it? Plus 45 total in-game stats, which is what we're going to refer to as TIGs. Plus 45 TIGs uh, total in-game stats over his 88 rated card. 170,000 coins. A very affordable player. Argentina, so very linkable. And then also, in my opinion, a very good league in League N. Especially if you did that uh, if you did that Gucci main among other cards. Obviously, there's that Alwar. Very, very special cards. Uh, the Nabil, Nabil Fakir right off the top of my head. The Dimitri Payet. So, uh, you can put together some very, very nice sides. Now, we didn't put together League N in this one. We put together most Argentina we've done that where if we've recently done a league and we're featuring a particular player this in this instance Argentina I'm gonna build together uh, some pretty nice Argentina players that I've had success with over the course of the year uh, but he gets plus three in every shooting stat and then plus two in every physical stat so those are really nice upgrades that he gets there he turned 30 February 14th uh, which means this could be if this is his last inform card this could be the this could be the beginning of the end for Di Maria only has two star week but a lot of people aren't gonna like him for that I personally don't find that to be an issue uh left footed right yeah left footed we're gonna play him at uh we're gonna play him at cam for a game and then we're gonna play him at left striker for a game uh but again 90 pace could be the last time i wouldn't be surprised if he uh, knocked him down to maybe like 79 or 80 pace sort of like the, what they did to robin uh because he has turned 30 and we know that is the that turning 30 is the kith 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 every time i say kiss in an epi i say kith stop You gotta stop drinking G Fuel late. Now, before we go any further, if you guys are looking forward to this Fanta episode, you guys know and love the history of the Fanta Epis on the channel, drop a like on the video. You guys have been absolute mad lately. As well, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I could do a Suarez one if you guys want. If you guys want me to do a Suarez video, I will do that for you. We've got Mascarano, aka the glowing Joe Rogan. We've got Taglia, Boop! And then outside of that, a pretty 
standard, I shouldn't say pretty standard, but a very nice looking Argentina side. Decided not to go with a Cardi because he's banging some other guy's wife. Um, and then also decided not to go with Higuain because I'm wearing his kit and he's just banging in burgers. And who else is there? Is there another Argent? Did I leave an Argentinian player? Is there, is there an Argentinian player that I left out? So wait, you're... Stop being so cringe, dude. You guys will remember this. I think this was all the way back in FIFA. Was this 16? A couple sips of Doc's G Fuel. That sounded kind of weird. GC Di Maria! Oh, what a goal! What a strike! Argentina level! It's Angel Di Maria! With the uh, I'll be, I'll sweetest right. of strikes. Oh, you're worried about a two-star weak foot? Who's worried about a two-star weak foot? Did you see that? What a way to get the epi started. That is his two-star weak foot right there. Rainbow flick to volley. And I guess that's what happens when you have just really good volleying stats. I guess it kind of uh, it kind of negates the fact that he does have a two-star weak foot. Schmigel Di Maria? Referee, please. He's about, he's about 150 pounds when wet. We got to give him every advantage he can get, dude, because he doesn't have a whole lot of weight behind him. It's going to be a goal. I'm calling it right here. Tevez is going to make the perfect run. Ah! All right, I feel like we could have had one there. We got a little bit sloppy. I feel like we probably should have just run it in with Carlitos Tevez. We're up 1-0. Uh, Stats-wise, I think the game's going to be probably pretty close. But I... Uh, I, I, as of right now, I mean, obviously only that one chance. That's the only thing separating the two of us. He's got five shots on target. Literally, that Di Maria uh, rainbow flick to volley is the only difference maker right now. What? PK. We're really lucky to have not conceded. Let's go! Who cares about the two-star week? It doesn't matter. He's got as good of a right as he does as a left, apparently. Hold, that was his right, please. Can we confirm that via replay? Yeah, dude. His right foot, it doesn't matter. That's about that's about as pin perfect. Uh, pinpoint perfect as you can score both goals come on his right and I, I guarantee you um, Last night when I tweeted out I already had seen a few people saying you know what is two-star week That's got to be a liability hasn't been in the first 67 minutes of this match Oh Jesus that was almost like the World Cup goal two-star weak foot could be the kiss of death for a lot of players but maybe there's something on his card that just allows him to... Again, 95 finishing might negate the fact that he's got the two-star week. Scored a banger. Scored that rainbow flick uh, rainbow flick to, to volley. 2.0 and then a perfect... Well, almost a near perfect. 8.9 rating. And then obviously going to get himself man of the match for that sort of performance. Uh, so, yeah. The main thing that people would probably knock him is the weak foot. And it looked like it wasn't an issue there. Faded FC. And I'm, I'm hoping this guy's faded right now. He's got himself Marata. He's got himself PZ. He's got himself that uh, Bruno Fernandez, I believe, from not this week, team of the week, but the previous one. Let's see if Di Maria can cut it as a striker. Maybe we, maybe we can get him that Hattie as a left striker. Oh my God! I'm sure you guys what I mean. Now. See? Right there, clean through. He's clean through and he's got the finishing of dreams. That is 95 finishing. That is 100% 95 finishing. We've proven that chemistry styles work. Disproven. Fanta song all epi long. This Di Maria card might even be 130, 140 by tomorrow. Is well worth a pickup. You need to pick him up. You know how I do this? It's this. With a Fanta card of this caliber, it's going to be 100% that. Got a little bit too cocky. You know what? I, I, I can, uh, I'll take accountability for that. Whew. 
He's crazy. The heel flick, you guys probably saw Tex and a bunch of the other pros do it at the uh, the E-League qualifier in Atlanta. But I, I used the heel flick before that, but I've used it a lot more recently. And with a player with 99 agility, it works beautifully. He just, he just has a way of getting away from the defender. And again, he hasn't missed one opportunity. Any, any opportunity where we've been in the box, even if it's a difficult one, even if it's with his left foot, he just, he just puts it away. Easy peasy. This guy's got peasy in his squad. I didn't mean to do that. GCW, y'all. <laughs> that, was a, that, was a, that was a time finish that I didn't even mean to do. We've got five goals with Di Maria. He's got a Hattie already in the 20th minute. Five goals in two matches played with Fanta Di Maria. Don't tell me. What? Referee. Papu. I mean, what? What? What is... I'm sorry. <laughs> Tevez. Yo, a 90 rated Carlitos Tevez should not be missing that, bro. What what was that, man? And the one thing I'm going to lobby my ass off for, I'm literally probably going to have one of my nusticles removed. Lobbying for bird box referees, uh, bird bath referees being removed in FIFA 20. I, I will go, dude. I will go to whatever events that I am going to, and if it's a capture event or something like that, and I will be like, look, there were so many birds. There were so many goddamn bird referees in... In FIFA 19, we gotta get we gotta get these calls right. Only it's only game. It, 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 it's oh, only rage quit. Let's go. Game. All right, so we uh, we get to cut the episode a little bit short there. And you know what we're gonna do? Because you guys stuck around, because you guys are really excited for this FP, I'm gonna do something. Because we did cause a rage quit, we got five goals with Di Maria and forced a rage quit. Faded FC, we literally faded his nuts off. Uh, we are gonna go ahead, and I am gonna open up. Should I do it? I'm gonna open up two of the 100k packs. Don't tell me we accidentally did an Argentina kit. Let's go. If we get a walkout in the first one, I I won't open two. Just kidding. I'll open up another one just because I'm so happy now that we got ourselves a walkout. Inform. No, probably nothing good, right? Walkout goalkeeper, Allison. Guy who is never going to start for me. <laughs> Ever. I mean, maybe FIFA 20, but his card in FIFA 19, for me at least, is... Is broken and not in a good way. Don't make me open up more than three. Yes, and we get it. Whatever this is gonna be, this is gonna be the last one. And it is going to be an inform. Walkout inform. Iron uh Jervinho? Oh, Zaha! Yo, 84 Zaha. That's actually sick. But I already have his footmas card, so it doesn't really matter. But that's actually still a sick pull. I think he probably goes for what? 84 Zaha, Premier League, left winger, incredible stats, five-star skiller. Gotta go for at least 50k, right? And what else do we get in there? We get a Riyad Mahrez and a freaking Zaha. So a left winger, a right winger, and then Strudel. Strudelfish. But anyway, boys, that is going to do it for the Epi. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Again, I'm giving... Look, this is the first time I've done it. Two thumbs up. Not even this. Not even that. We're doing this. 100%, 170k. Probably going to be around 150 by the time you wake up. So if you want yourselves a really fun card to use and kind of emulate what I did in this epi, go ahead and pick up yourselves a Fanta Di Maria. Really, really loved his card. Uh, shooting stats for days. Agility for days. Has nice uh, stamina. And then just really, there's nothing he can't do other than aerial stuff. But really, really fun card. Position change. First card that we can use him as as a striker or a center mid. Plays really good as a striker. Plays really good as a cam as well. Let me know on Twitter. Let me know in the comments if you guys have tried him out. Thank you guys for watching the video. And again, thank you guys as always for the support on the videos, man. Uh, I, I, I appreciate it more than you guys could possibly know. Drop a cheeky like on the video if you did. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I will see you guys for another video shortly. Till next time, bros. Tschüss. Later. Update.